Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Malik Arjun. All right, so today I'm going to quickly demonstrate on this connecting to your container database and connecting to your pluggable database, CDBs and PDBs with OS authentication and without, uh, you know, uh, with, with password authentication. And then what are the different, different various methods to connect to this PDBs and CDB? Because the PDBs and CDBs are going to be future focused. You know, Oracle is going in a direction, you know, everyone has to use this CDBs and PDBs because of that, you know, starting with this 21C, there's only a purely, uh, you can create a database of container database uh, with the CDBs and PDBs. There's no way you can create non-CDB databases. Normal database, there is no option to create only container database, PDBs and CDBs are going to be future focused from Oracle side. So as a DBA, understanding the CDBs and PDBs and getting to know the tricks and tricks around these PDBs and CDBs are very, very important. So because of that, you know, this is a basic necessity, fundamental things as a DBA, how you can connect to your CDBs and PDBs with the OS authentication. And then how you can connect to your CDBs and PDBs with the password authentication. That's going to be one of the very, very basic need or, you know, at the DBA we need to understand. So that's what you now I'm going to reveal in this particular uh, session. How, what are the different various methods to connect to your CDB, PDB with password authentication, without password authentication, with this, uh, you know, OS authentication, all this I'm going to reveal in this particular session. Right. So if you are new to my channel and if you missed out my previous uh, sessions, no worries. You can go back to YouTube and then search for Malik Jyoti for, and you can refer all those my previous sessions. And then if you like my videos, always, you know, don't forget to give thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. All right. Quickly jump onto my lab here. Um, I have my database, container database, uh, CDBDB, which is, um, you know, already up and running here. I'm just going to quickly, um, uh, if you see like PS, F, F, Gap, PS, Mon, that's CDB database, that's a container database owned by Oracle user. I can directly switch to Oracle user who is the owner of that who's owner of the database. And then I'm going to quickly set the environment dot or INV, CDB, DB, right? So ENV, pipeline, grep, capital Vora. So you can see Oracle SID, Oracle base, Oracle home. So everything is set over here. And now I'm going to quickly connect S12 plus slash SDBA. Right, so this is my first way uh, show PDBs. So this is the first method of you know connecting to your container database. If I go back here, so connecting to your CDB with the OS authentication. If you see here, right, I just use SQL plus slash is a OS authentication as a SysDBA. And then if I do show user, so I can see sys user already connected to my CDB database, right? So that is just using OS authentication. Right, that's my first lab exercise. What I wanted to show here. And then the second lab access is connecting to your CDP with the password authentication. So you have to give your password. Uh, the password is malik123 hash. So this is your password authentication. Let's connect over here. So what I'm going to use like SQL plus sys followed by password at the rate TNS connections for that CDP as a CDP. This is going to use my password authentication rather than my, uh, you know, OS authentication. So if I connect here, SQL plus sys followed by sys password at the rate or uh, the TNS alias and then as a SysDB, right? So I'm able to connect. If I do show user, I'll be a sys user, show PDBs, I'm inside my container database. So if I try to use a wrong password, uh, it's gonna fail. For example, if I remove this one, if I try to use Malik one, and then that's gonna fail invalid username and password, right? So um, that's a thing like, you know, you've, in order to connect to your database, uh, using a sys username and password, you have to use this command SQL plus sys followed by password at the your container database. That's a TNS alias name as a sysdba. So that's going to use your username and password and the password file authentication that will consider as a remote authentication. That's a remote connection and then it will use the password, username and password and connect to your database. So this is my TNS alias. So I can show you that TNS alias here. Oracle Home CD Network Admin. So if I go here, my TNS admin location here, if I do cat TNS name dot or file. So this is my TNS alias. You can see, right? Description, protocol, host name, port, and then the service is CDBDB. If I do TNS ping, I should be able to do a TNS ping. Okay, zero millisecond. So if I do cat listener, so this is my listener here, listener CDBDB. LS, uh, if I do PSI if any grep TNS, I can see my listener is up and running here. So it is already running here. If I do LS NRCTL status, my listener name, 
So you can see all my CDB, all my PDB1, PDB2, everything is listening under this particular listener. So because of my listener is up and running and my services are listening under that listener, my database are registered on that listener and my TNS entries are properly set and it is having that database service name. So I can simply use it's SQL plus sys followed by password at the rate that TNS name and then as the sys debate that's going to use where my username and password authentication and it will consider as a remote connection and it will connect to my database. So if I use a wrong password, it will say invalid username and password, log on tonight. And if I use a correct password, I'm able to connect to my database, right? So that is, uh, you know, second method. When the first method is connecting to CDB with OS authentication. Second method is connecting to your CDB with the password authentication, right? I can simply uh, create one common user here. Uh, since this is my container database, I have to use the C hash hash keyword in order to create my uh, common user, sorry, uh, in order to use my, uh, you know, common user at my CDB level, not a local user, right? So SQL plus slash as is DBA, right? So I connected, show PDBs, right? So I can see here, I'm just gonna connect. Right, so created my common user here. And then I'm gonna just grant DBA to that common user. Done. Um, exit. So now I'm now I'm gonna connect to my CDB database using that common user, whatever I created with the password authentication. The commands are simple: SQL plus C hash hash Malik followed by that whatever the password I given here, Malik at the rate CDB DB. Right. So show user. Right, so C hash hash Malik, which is who is connected to my container database, right? So that is uh, the first method is connecting with the sys user and sys password uh, to your container database. And second method is connecting to your common user with the password associated to that to your container database. So these are the two methods connecting to your container database with the password authentication and with the OS authentication. Now I'm going to connecting to my PDB with the OS authentication. How you're gonna connect to PDB with the OS authentication? The straightforward answer is you can directly connect to first container database, show PDBs, right? I connected to my, uh, so show P uh, container database, CDB I connected here with my OS authentication. And then I got this PDB. I can simply use alter session set container. I'll go inside that container without any password. I can show user. So now I am at a sys user. If I do show PDBs, I can see only, uh, show PDBs, right? I can see only that uh, PDB one, which is my, uh, one of the pluggable database. So I went inside my pluggable database with the OS authentication. That is via your container database. First, I connected to my container database here. After that, I did alter session set container equal to whatever the uh, uh, pluggable database name. And then I can go inside that pluggable database name. This is kind of a OS authentication, but you have to connect via your container database. So direct way to connect your PDB from your OS is this one. Right? Let's exit from here. What I can do uh, if I do ENV pipeline grep capital Vora. So I have my SID Oracle base Oracle home, but there's a one more new parameter called uh, Oracle underscore PDB underscore SID. The moment I set this parameter at my OS level, I can directly connect SQL plus SSD it will directly connect to my one of the pluggable database, whatever I exported. Right, see, I'm going to export this export Oracle underscore PDB underscore SID. This is a new parameter came in 19C. So now you can do, I got four parameters now. PDB SID, my database SID, Oracle base and Oracle home. Now I can simply use this SQL plus SSD base. It will actually connect to my PDB, not a container database. Right, if I do show PDBs, you can see I'm inside PDB now already. Show user. Right, so I can see this user. So this is like, you know, you can connect to your PDB directly by exporting that Oracle underscore PDB underscore SID at your OS level. You can simply use SQL plus SSD but directly connect to that particular pluggable database. Or else you can first connect to your CDB. Once you connect to your CDB, you do show PDBs and then do alter session set container. You can connect to any container database. Right, that is kind of your uh, OS authentication to connect to your pluggable database. You no need of any password. These are the two methods you can feel free to use any one of that. But remember this Oracle underscore PDB underscore SID came in 19C. Right now connecting to your PDB with the password authentication. So I can quickly create Malik user inside my PDB. Right now I'm inside my PDB here. I'm just gonna create Malik user identified by password. 
right? So the Malik user got created here inside the PDB one. So I can just simply grant that SysDBA to Malik, right? So I'm just going to exit now here, right? So I exit it. So I can directly use SQL plus Malik slash Malik at that, that PDB TNS alias as a SysDBA. So we're going to use the Malik user and password and it will connect to my CDB, my PDB, right? You can see Malik. Malik, and then I can see it connected to my PDB using this uh, uh, username and password. So if I use a wrong password, let's see what happens here. I'm just going to use Malik one two one two something like this. It says see newly the username and password log on denied. So you know it's strictly going to use username and password when you use add the rate your uh, TNS alias name. So this TNS alias name again, I'll go back here. I already showed you that I have a three TNS alias. One is your CDB name, one is PDB one and PDB two. Right, so I'm going to use this PDB one. So if I do TNS ping of PDB one, it should be able to ping, right? So I'm able to ping that uh, TNS uh, alias, like you know, the PDB, TNS ping to PDB one is working fine. But when I try to use a wrong password, it is failing because the password is wrong here. So if I use a correct password, it's going to connect to my PDB one directly, but this is OS authentication for that common user, that, that uh, you know, local user to that PDB. So, there's other way to connect to your sys user. Like, you know, you have to export this uh, uh, same thing, right? Like ENV pipeline grep uh, capital Vara. You can see your PDB SID is there, your database SID, your uh, Oracle based Oracle, everything is set here. You can directly use SQL plus sys followed by your uh, sys password and then uh, your PDB one. So you can directly connect to your PDB via sys user as a sys user using this password authentication. Right, you can see connected to my uh, PDB one using sys user. Show user, you can see sys, show PDBs, you can see PDB one. So if you export this particular PDB underscore SID, you can directly connect to your uh, uh, pluggable databases. At the rate, you have to use that uh, PDB TNS alias. And if you unset this one, you'll not be able to connect to that PDB. If I do here, unset, Right, so if I unset this one, right now I unset this one. Uh, if I do ENV pipeline capital Vara, so I don't see that one. Like, you know, I have a container database, uh, everything is set here. Now, if I try to connect to this one here, right, um, I can try to use this one here. SQL plus PDB one here. Right, so show PDBs, right, so connected to PDB one. So since you are using at the TNS alias, you can directly connect to your PDB irrespective of whether you are gonna uh, set this uh, um, PDB underscore SID or not because your uh, username and password you're going to hard code here. So now if I don't use uh, PDBs, uh, the username and password, and then if I don't that uh, uh, PDB underscore SID, so if I try to use SQL plus SHDB, it's gonna connect to my container database. It's not gonna connect to my uh, PDB, SQL plus slash SSDB. If I try to use this OS authentication, so I'll not be able to connect to my PDB because you have set it to CDB, it is gonna connect to your CDB. Show PDBs, you can see it's connected to your container database. So you, uh, along with these three parameters, SID, Oracle base, Oracle home, if I export uh, this uh, parameter as well, uh, the PDB, so directly connect to your PDB with OS authentication. Let's export this one, e export. Oracle uh, underscore PDB underscore uh, SID. So now, I, and now I'm going to use SQL plus SDB. It's going to connect to my PDB directly. It's not going to connect to my CDB. If I do show PDBs, it'll directly connect to uh, my PDB here. So that's what you need to make sure that, you know, which environment variable you have sort before connecting to your database, right? So this has a PDB, sorry, PDB set here. That's why you know, this SQL plus SSDB is going to connect to directly to the PDB. If I don't set that uh, PDB, if I set it to my SID, it'll connect to your container database, right? So these are like different ways I listed out here, uh, connecting to your CDB with OS authentication, connecting to your CDB with the password authentication as a sys user, as a common user, and connecting to your PDB with OS authentication. For that, you need to export this PDB and SID, and connecting to your PDB with the password authentication using a local user, or using your sys user, right? So these are like different ways to um, connect your pluggable database and CDB databases. Um, uh, we can uh, try a few more tri tricks and tricks up uh, across these PDBs and CDBs in our next session, guys. Uh, until then, keep practicing and then keep sharing the knowledge. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.